Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be talking about my first ever face-to-face -face medium intensity CBT session. Now for those of you who don't know CBT stands for cognitive behavioral therapy and to be quite honest when I very first heard of cognitive behavioral therapy I thought that it was exactly the same as counseling but it was just a fancier name. That's not true. It's a very common misconception I think with CBT. I feel like counseling focuses more on the past and perhaps accepting your past whereas cognitive behavioral therapy is more about looking to the future yeah you know you have to understand your problems in order to deal with them but i think cbt is more of a let's not talk as much about what you've been through and let's focus on how you're going to get to the end of it how you are going to be a better person through this kind of therapy i have waited a long time for this appointment i'm not gonna lie i have previously done cbt before um, and i had done it on a low intensity program which actually was all online and it was like a six week program and i found that really really helpful however i think many people will be able to agree and understand that during the times where you're not in treatment it's very difficult to um, continue to keep up to date with all of the things that you learn. I finished the low intensity treatment program in mid-December of last year so 2018 and I have only just a few days ago began my medium intensity CBT treatment so yeah, I literally waited eight months in order to begin medium intensity treatment. But we're going to go back to talking about my first ever face-to-face -face medium intensity CBT treatment session. So this was what um, I like to call an introductory session. It was really, really informal. And although I was very, very nervous about this whole entire thing, I did feel able to open up and to speak to my therapist. And she listened to what I had to say. She listened to what I thought my concerns were, what I wanted to, to get out of the treatment. We discussed a lot of things, but mainly it was, you know, um, my treatment plan, future sessions, it was agreed that I would have weekly sessions, each of a 30 minute runtime, and these are going to last for between six to eight weeks. And then I will be referred and put on another waiting list um, onto the higher intensity CBT sessions, which will consist of weekly sessions yet again, but this time it will be one hour in length. And those, I believe she said, will last roughly between 12 to 18 weeks. Like I said, it was very introductory. It was like, you know, I was getting to know her. She was getting to know me. Um, I had to talk about my past to recap it all. Um, because obviously, in order for her to help me and to treat my issues, she has to know what's going on. And I understand that completely. From my next session onwards, though, it will all be about looking to the future, moving forward and treatment, not focusing on what has happened in my past to make me what I am today, basically. What I quite liked about my therapist in particular is that she wasn't going to sugarcoat anything. She didn't sit there and say that it's going to be easy and that it's going to come naturally and really, really quickly and it's going to be this happy time and you're going to enjoy it. It's not like that. At the end of the day, it's very draining working on yourself, trying to be a better person and ridding yourself of the issues that you have mentally. And my therapist, no, she was no way in hell going to sugarcoat anything. She looked at me dead in the eyes and she was like, do you know what? There's going to be times where you may want to pack it in. You might want to throw in the towel, but don't do it. There is a lot of work to be done here, but I believe that we can do it. She basically said that because I have been been having mental issues for so 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 long um, for many 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 years it's going to be a long journey getting things back on track and I understand that at the end of the day you can't change yourself overnight um, but I'm somebody who's always wanted and always has tried to make the effort to be a better person and I'm I am prepared 
She said that I am going to have homework to do, which I'm all down for that. It is obviously very clear to me that I do have a lot of work to do and it's not going to be easy, but I am prepared to do it and I hope that this CBT stuff is really going to start to benefit me now that we have entered into the medium intensity side of things. The low intensity stuff that I did in the past was good, but I knew that it wasn't going to be enough. My doctor knew it wasn't going to be enough. And the company that I am doing these CBT sessions with knew that it wasn't going to be enough either. So yeah, me and my therapist, we talked, we had a discussion about all kinds of things um, that have happened in my life and kind of beginning to scratch the surface off in terms of like, oh, well, this could possibly be why you are behaving the way you're behaving. And that's very, very interesting to me. It always has been really interesting to me, how the mind works, why we behave in the way that we do, all of that sort of stuff. Um, so perhaps that's why I'm, I'm so incredibly engaged and excited about it. The, the session actually went by quite quickly. And um, by the time it was over, I felt relieved. Like I had just stepped over a big hurdle. But yeah, other than that, I don't really know what else to say about the session. It went really quickly and it seemed to go quite well. She seemed to understand me. I understood her and what she was saying. And my therapist seems like a reasonable woman from what I have seen of her. And I'm looking forward to working with her in the future and being a better, happier, healthier woman. And I hope she can help me with that. And she seems like she's prepared to help me with that. So that's all good. So I think I'm going to leave this video here. And thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to click on that subscribe button. Have you ever had any um, kind of experiences with CBT? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching once again. And I hope to see you in my next video.